As part of the National Civic Commission Education Constitutional Week introduced in 2021 to educate citizens on the tenets of the Constitution and for them to know their rights and responsibilities, chairperson of the Commission and some staff engaged the Catholic Bishops' Conference. The Catholic Bishops used the opportunity to question the role the NCCE has played in educating the general public against the dangers of LGBTQ activities in the country. People are saying all the time, oh, it's a violation of a one's human rights if you don't allow the gay people to uh, live together. That's what the human rights. If you allow them, then we as well allow a father to sleep with the daughter. Because that's what the person feels like. So I think we should make that important distinction. The fundamental human rights have been defined and people to try to respect that. Do you do uh, education on some of these? Uh, how, how do you promote the, the, the patriotism outside our Ghanaian values? Later, the president of the Catholic Bishops' Conference, speaking to TV3, said regardless of the issue being in court, it does not prevent the NCCE from speaking against the act. When the issue is in court, they are unable to talk much about it. Do you still think that they still have to go ahead and speak to it? Oh, yes. That is not their business. They have no business in the court. We are talking of Ghanaian values. And uh, when they did even go to court, only recently, so all along, we could have spoken against it. And we know it's a negative value. It doesn't help community. An institution that has been mandated uh, to teach uh, civil rights, civil liberties, civil responsibilities, should also be able to get involved and correct if you are talking against violence, terrorism, these are negative values. And that is why we believe uh, the NCC should also see LGBTQ and its implications as a, a negative value. He called on the commission to, as part of its mandate, to educate the public on election-related issues, to also ensure the core value of the country is upheld by all Ghanaians. In response, the commission said it has now taken delivery of its first quarter funds and it determined to meet its mandate on all issues. The commission later visited the Ghana Armed Forces as part of its nationwide public education on election-related issues.